The European Union provided financial support to South Africa in the establishment of a vaccine plant in Cape Town. The technologically driven plant conducts research, design and manufacturing of vaccines. The challenges around the dwindling demand for vaccines were also discussed. Somebody will still have to buy these vaccines. And we know that we need to then also as a way of making sure that it is solid to decide and work very closely as to how and who do we really um, engage to ensure that we don't have this capacity which will then be choked because they manufacture vaccines and nobody buys them. And this is really part of the very interesting discussions that we are having. The European Union and the Health Department say they are working to strengthen their collaboration to prepare for future health crises. Because global crisis can only be approached if we work globally. And with our pharmaceutical strategy for Europe, we, working with our European Medicines Agency, we want to promote access to safe and effective medicines uh, and medicine products to all citizens globally. And we need to do this. We need to work together to ensure that all people have access to essential medicines they need worldwide. And we can only do this if we work together. Besides COVID, in the country we give immunizations to children at birth. And 90% of immunizations in the country are imports, not manufacture. So the starting point is to, even if there were not to be COVID, and even if there were not to be any future pandemics, we need it for the whole of Africa, for our own resource. Mills, Mills must have a vaccine. We are actually immunizing against the rubella. We are immunizing against the TB. Clinical trials for the vaccine are planned for September this year. We have developed an mRNA vaccine in partnership with Wits University here. That vaccine, AfriVac 2121, named after the day 21st June 2021 when Dr. Tedros and President Ramaphosa and partners announced the creation of this program. AfriVac was developed in South Africa with which university and in this facility now is produced for animal studies and for human studies later this year. This is, is the test case for us to demonstrate to the world that we can do mRNA vaccines. Experts say the vaccine is already in the preclinical development stage. Atule Joga, SABC News, Cape Town.